Ciao, this is Mark Marcantonio. Today I'm going to talk about a feature that gives a lot of people trouble and it's called interference um, that comes from various sonar units on their boat flashing across their sonar screen and it really gets in the way of you being able to see the picture that you want to see on your HDS Pro or live unit or carbon, whichever one you have. So I'm going to talk to you specifically about how to take care or minimize that interference with an HDS Pro system. One of the big advantages, I mean big advantages, of having an HDS, HDS Pro unit is that it has a feature embedded in it that's called ping sync. Now, interference typically comes from sonar pulses the pings from the sonar transducer sending sound waves out into the water where it bounces off the target, gets reflected back to the unit which reads it and interprets it as either fish or structure or whatever. So those pings fire at uh, different rates depending on which, which type of sonar is sending those pings out. You've got structure scan which is both side scan and down scan each one of those are sending out pings at high frequencies generally speaking uh, 455 kilohertz or 800 kilohertz or if you have one of the megahertz in the 1100 range so those pings show up on your screen if you don't have them filtered out or if you don't have ping sync turned on and your 2d sonar puts out pings your active targets put out high frequency pings and particularly when you're trying to view your live sonar on on forward facing sonar those pings show up on your screen as flashes of light that scroll across your screen and those flashes of light interfere with your ability to see fish or bait or your lure and it makes it very difficult to use I have inserted this clip uh, as a recording from my HDS Pro 16 on my bow. I'm actually rec recording the active target. And you can see I've got a school of bass underneath the boat. And this recording was done with my 2D sonar turned on. So you can see the flashing because the pings are not synced. And that flashing that is bouncing up and down over top of that school of bass is the signal from the 2D sonar interfering with the active target live image. So this would go away if you had ping sync, and which at this point it's not too bad because I can still see the fish and I can uh, see my lure, my drop shot rig, which you can see coming up to the surface right now. But you ideally would like to have this completely removed, especially if you have more than one sonar going on at the same time. Ping sync removes all of that interference. Again, one of the great features of the HDS Pro unit is that it has what's called a ping sync feature. And what that means is that for every type of transducer that's connected to that HDS Pro unit, you can synchronize the pings from all those different types of sonar to fire at exactly the same time so that you are getting a clear picture all the time on your screen. No flashes of light pulsating across the screen to interfere with your ability to see your lure or the bait or the fish. So I'm going to show you how to set up the wiring for ping sync. Now in my boat, I've got dual active target two units at the moment. So I, I synchronize both of those. And if you look at my installation video on how to install and wire uh, dual active target units, active target two units on your boat, you'll see that in the wiring, I connected the blue wire from each of the active target units uh, to each other, connected them together. By connecting two active target 
wire harness blue wires together, that synchronizes both active target boxes so that they both fire at exactly the same time. The ping is synchronized. You get a nice clear picture viewing both active targets at exactly the same time on a active on a HDS Pro unit. And again, this only works on the HDS Pro units. Well, in the latest software update, HDS Pros also offer ping sync that you can connect through the yellow wire. And so on your wiring harness for the HDS Pro, if you take the yellow wire from your HDS Pro wiring harness and connect it to the blue wire of your Active Target 2 unit, then you're going to ping sync um, the transducers on your Active Target, I mean on your HDS Pro unit together. In my case, since I have the two blue wires of both active target units connected together, um, I've already done that in my previous video. Now I'm going to attach a yellow wire from my HDS Pro 16 on the bow of my boat to those two blue wires. By doing that, I will now have all the transducers connected to my HDS Pro 16 on the front in ping sync. And my HDS Pro, I mean my ghost trolley motor on the front, has the three-in-one nose cone. So it does 2D sonar, down scan, and structure scan. And that is connected to my HDS Pro 16 in the front. And my two active target 2 units are connected to the HDS Pro in the front. So now all of those transducers will synchronize and I won't get any interference. I won't have to go to active target and stop sonar or go to my uh, side scan and stop sonar or my 2D sonar and stop sonar. All of those stop sonar menu choices will no longer be necessary once you do this wiring as I'm going to show you. So that's what we're gonna do, let's get to it. I've got the power cable for my HDS Pro 16 that I have up on the bow. And I want to show you there are two power uh, cables coming from the red connector. You've got two different cables. One is the NEMA uh, 0183 connection and then the other is the black and the red and the yellow wire which is the yellow wake up wire. You want to connect the yellow wire from this wiring harness, the one that has the power and the ground. You want to use that yellow wire, not the NEMA 0183 yellow wire. So we're going to connect the yellow wire that comes from the power cable. I've got the power cable routed down to a um, fuse box in my bow area, so I'll connect a butt connector, um, heat shrink butt connector to the yellow wire from that wire harness and connect it to an uh, extension, yellow wire extension that I'm going to run to the back of the boat. I'm going to connect it to um, a long yellow wire here that I have and it runs all the way down. I'm going to run this yellow wire all the way down my gunnel through my wiring loom and all the way to my console because at the console is where I have my two active target blue wires connected together. So my active target two units are in my rod locker and they go, um, the wiring goes back here to my, under my console and, and is going to a fuse box up there. The two blue wires join in there. So that's where I'm gonna hook the yellow wire to. Once I get the yellow wire pulled through the uh, the gunnel here, and the way I'm going to do that, a great trick for you. Whenever you're pulling wires through these tubes, it can really be a nightmare. It's probably the hardest thing of any wiring job. So, the last time I pulled a transducer cable through there, I also pulled a rope or a string through there. And so now this string has been laying in this gunnel for probably two years. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this string to this yellow wire. And then I'm going to pull the string out from the other end and pull this yellow wire through the rod tube. So what I did here was 
I put a heat shrink connector on the end of my yellow wire and my string fits in the other end of the heat shrink connector. I'm not going to shrink it. I'm just going to go ahead and tape it up and then hopefully that'll be nice and compact and allow me to pull this yellow wire through that tube that goes all the way up the starboard gunnel and uh, get that out to the back where my two blue wires for my active target two power harnesses are connected. Okay, get some tape here. Start wrapping that around here. Go up a little further. Just wrapped up as tight as I can. Strong pull. Yeah, that feels pretty good. Okay. I'm going to start trying to pull that through. Hopefully, it'll go with no trouble. Got it started okay. Keep it going. All right, success. Okay. Got the wire pulled through. I'm gonna leave this. I'll uh, cut this off when I get it connected at the other end. I'm gonna go to the other end now. So it went all the way through this gunnel. And I got it back out through the whole access here. And I'm gonna route that around to my um, two blue wires from my Active Target 2 boxes and make a connection there. And that'll be good. Okay, I rooted the yellow wire under some tie wraps and connected it to the two blue wires from my Active Target 2 units. And so the yellow from the HDS Pro 16 in the bow is now connected to the two blues of my two Active Target 2 units. And I'll just put a butt cap on the end of that and they will start synchronizing. Okay, they are connected and ready to go. Okay, I've got the yellow wire run through the gunnel to the back of the boat, so to, to connect to my two blue wires from my Active Target 2 boxes. So now I'm going to go ahead and connect this butt connector to the yellow wire down inside uh, by my fuse box that goes along with the red and black wire from my HDS Pro 16 power harness. And by the way, when you use these uh, heat shrink connectors, you want to make sure that you use a crimp tool that's designed for heat shrink connectors. You don't want to use one of the old school ones like this because it'll cut through the insulation on the heat shrink connector and then your connection's no longer waterproof. So. Uh, this is one of the red size connectors, so I'm going to go ahead and put the red slot in and connect it, squeeze that. And then that crimps it on and doesn't cut the insulation here, which makes it perfect. Okay, um, all right, I just finished, uh, Okay, I just finished using the heat shrink connector and the heat gun to shrink it down into place and see if I can get the camera in here. Probably, probably not, but 
there I've got the yellow wire connected to the um, uh, my extension cable my yellow extension wire that goes to the back of the boat so it's connected to the yellow wire that's in the power harness okay now after you get the wiring all done there's one more step that you need to perform so that you can ping sync uh, all of your transducers and that involves going into the menu on your HDS Pro unit. So the first thing you want to do is, is press the Pages button. And then go to the gear for settings. And then if you look down on the menu, you'll see down here a choice called Power Control. That's what you want to touch. And then this pop-up menu comes up. And you see that you have two choices to turn the power control on or off and ping sync on or off. And you see I already have ping sync turned on. Um, this is where you change the function of the yellow wire that's in the wiring harness of your HDS Pro unit. If you turn ping sync off and power control on, then your yellow wire in the wiring harness for the Pro unit is used to turn on an accessory unit like the module box itself or a structure scan 3d or a sonic hub or any other device but since we want to synchronize our pings on all the transducers connected to this hds pro we want the ping sync turned on so that's how you do it and then just go ahead and hit save and now you've got everything set up the way you need to to synchronize the pings on all your transducers Okay, I hope this video helps you. Um, please, if you like it, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notification, notified whenever I have a new YouTube video out. The channel's done really good. This is, It's only been out for a short while, and I've already got almost 3,000 subscribers, and it's rapidly climbing. Thanks to all of you for watching. If you need any help with your electronics, your wiring, um, as well as watching some entertaining fishing shows and getting lots of fishing tips. I've got over 45 years of tournament experience, and I'm happy to share it all with you. Uh, again, please hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. It's at Mark Marcantonio is the channel. Ciao.